Virgo, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for December 31st to January the 6th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. I know I didn't do last week's reading, it was a first for me, I always do them, but I just really, really came to a great big standstill with everything. Um, I said that um, on the community um, thing <laughs> on YouTube, I don't know what you call it, um, but you know, maybe you didn't see it or whatever, but um, just know this won't happen again. Um, I'm going to get on with your reading right now uh, for Virgo. So the first card you have for your past is the High Priestess. Um, yeah, the High Priestess is obviously an extremely um, spiritual, intuitive um, woman. So I'm seeing that at this time uh, you're probably just really, really tuned in, tuned into the atmosphere, tuned into everything that was going on around you. It was like you were able to kind of feel um, the vibes around people, feel how they were feeling and what they were thinking. And it was like you could walk into a room and you just feel the atmosphere in that room. And um, I'm getting this feeling of someone actually creating an atmosphere, creating a bad atmosphere around you and around around the room. Um, I think someone might have been a little bit off with you actually or a little bit cold with you and you could really feel this distance between you and I don't think they're actually saying anything to you. I don't think they were saying I'm not happy with you, I don't like you or whatever. They were just really giving off these vibes, these kind of this kind of energy that uh, they were really being off with you or they weren't happy and uh, yeah this person's a little bit sensitive I'm seeing and maybe they took something you said or did the wrong way or something like that. Um, if this resonates and this is still happening uh, to you, um, first of all I'm sorry this is happening to you because I don't think you've done anything. Uh, I'm not seeing that you did anything, I just think they were very sensitive and they took something the wrong way and they just decided to go cold on you and create an atmosphere. So I think, you know, you could try talking to them. I think that's what I would do, but I'm just getting this feeling that even if you do do that, they probably won't talk to you directly. They would, probably won't give you an answer. If you said to them, you know, what's going on? Do you have a problem with me? They'd probably just say, oh, nothing, or they might not say anything. So, um, and so I think, you know, I know you probably want to ignore them or avoid this kind of thing because this is really kind of passive aggressive behavior and I'd, I can't bear that kind of behavior. So I'd either tell them, you know, what are you doing? Tell me what the matter is. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I can't see them doing that. So then I try to just ignore them. But, um, you know, I don't think you're actually able to avoid them totally. I think you might have to be around this person for some reason, you might work with them. So um, yeah, there's a very, very uneasy feeling around this, that's what I keep on feeling. And I think, you know, you did have other people around you as well, you had people who were a lot more relaxed, a lot more open, and you know, thankfully, <laughs> you were able to focus on them, um, some other people, but there was still this atmosphere around this. And um, I think, you know, you might have tried to talk to them, I don't know, you might have tried to do whatever, but I don't think you are getting very far with this person, so I think you might just have to, if you're still going through this, you might just have to ignore them. You can't really do anything about that apart from leaving if this is in the workplace, but um, I don't think that's an option for you to just kind of walk off. So um, yeah, you might just have to be around this person. You might just have to put earbuds in or something and ignore them. The next card you have, I do that, the next card you have your past is the Six of Pentacles. So yes, I think this person might have thought you were treating them unfairly or you said something that wasn't fair. And again, I'm seeing this might be around the workplace and I think you might have tried to, they might have gotten the impression that you thought you were better than them or like the man in this card or that you were doing something that wasn't fair. And I don't think you were. Again, I, I'm not seeing anything that you were doing. Um, or if you did say something, I don't think you meant to because I think you usually... Um, think really really carefully before you say anything or do anything. I always see that in your readings. You're a very careful, cautious person. Um, and yeah, this is really frustrating me. I think you can tell because I keep on seeing them just not wanting to say anything directly about this. 
but you know they're just creating this atmosphere so again you know I think you might just have to ignore them because I don't think you can do anything else about this um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is that you might have been finally moving on from someone uh, and yeah this was a love connection I'm seeing I think there were other people around this person maybe flirting with them maybe they had other people on the side or something like that I can't quite see if they were fully cheating maybe they weren't but um, I think this was really mostly about how they saw themselves they kind of saw themselves a little bit like the man on this card a bit self-important a bit like oh I have all these people around me giving me attention and I can pick and choose who I want maybe today I'll have that one and then tomorrow I'll go out with this one and then I'll go out with the other. it's that kind of attitude it's kind of this great big smart person who can kind of um, use people and pick and choose who they want like the man on this card really so um, and I think I saw something about this in your last reading um, if this resonates you're 100% right not to stay around this person you know someone like this people like this um, these kinds of people they can be really difficult to move on from sometimes emotionally um, because usually they're kinds of they're the kind of really um, charismatic kind of person they kind of know exactly what to say at the right time to make people feel amazing they probably really came on quite strongly to you at the beginning made you feel like you're incredible but actually it's kind of a rehearsed thing they know what to say to people um, so I think you know if you have moved on from them or if you're in the process of moving on from them um, congratulations because these kinds of people are very hard to move on from and yet yeah, this wouldn't have been easy and usually the people who you should move on from are usually the people who are the hardest to move on from which is very strange but it's usually the case I have found that in my um, in my life definitely and from other people and when I was doing personal readings all the time I used to get that um, and just from what I've observed around me as well um, so the last card you have here past is the seven of pentacles so yeah again I'm seeing this person in the high priestess this person who uh, uh, thinks that uh, or who thought that you were doing or saying something unfair um, the man on this card you know if you look at the man on this card he's looking at the tree next to him and this tree's full of coins it's full of coins but he only has uh, one coin in front of him all the coins are on the tree only ones in front of him but he doesn't look like he's doing anything to change this situation he could go and take a coin off the tree and put it in front of him he could take all of them if he wanted to but he's not he's just looking at them he oh I wish I had that so there might be a little bit of jealousy in this as well they might be looking at what you have looking at you or they might have been and thinking oh that's not fair um, they've got everything I've only got one thing maybe they've been overlooked for promotions maybe they've been overlooked for jobs maybe they've been overlooked for things I don't know it could have been some little thing you said but you know if they did something to fix this situation if they go and grab the coins themselves or if they go and speak to you you'd be able to clear this up with them or if they do something rather than just standing there like this man who's not doing anything things would change for them things would move for them but I, they're just not doing that they're not doing anything they're not talking to you they're not saying anything uh, they're just kind of creating or they were just kind of creating this bad atmosphere and I think this atmosphere will eventually die down um, I think eventually they'll kind of come to their senses and realize they can't just not pe speak to people forever and they can't kind of go around sulking forever but um, I still don't think they're going to address this directly I still don't think they're going to talk to you about this this is very strange behavior and I personally I can't understand people like that if I have a problem with someone I just tell them not rudely but I just say look you know I really think uh, we just need to talk about something I really think uh, maybe this is a problem um, maybe you don't mean to do this but um, this is bothering me so um, you know but that's not what they do anyway so I will move on to the hanged man another person who's not doing anything the blooming hanged man so yeah he could be about all sorts of different things but 
I'm seeing this is about just letting things go. Um, so this is probably what you're going to have to do again um, if this is all resonating with you, with this person who's acting uh, silly, um, <laughs> passive aggressive, just let things go. And um, I'm seeing things are probably going to go back to normal um, if this is in an office or a workplace or whatever. Um, as far as their attitude toward you goes, they're going to start talking to you again and they're going to lighten up again and they're going to start to say things. But I don't think uh, things are going to change as far as you're concerned. I think, you know, you're going to be talking to them, you're going to be fine, whatever, but you're not going to let them close to you. You're going to keep your eye on them from now on and you're definitely not going to um, you know, see them in the same way ever again. Um, and I keep on seeing you having to be around them. So again, I'm seeing they might be someone you work with um, and you will probably have to keep on interacting with this person on some level um, unless you uh, move jobs or whatever because I don't think they're moving. Um, uh, I think you'll probably only speak to them um, if you act absolutely have to. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. But you're not going to be rude or anything, but I think you're going to really be... Um, very wary about them. That's what I'm seeing and I, I can totally understand why. The next card you have for your present is the star. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm seeing something very beautiful in this card. I'm actually seeing spirituality and uh, spiritual development um, and I think that you're starting to really develop um, spiritually at this time. Um, I think you might have already started on a path toward this, um, but I think at this time things are starting to happen a lot faster for you. I think, I mean, I don't know, I think that sometimes Christmas and the holidays and all of that um, can be a time of excess. Um, even if you don't celebrate it yourself, it can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, people can overeat, overdrink, overspend, they can have crazy tinsel everywhere and big bright lights flashing on and off and it can be a bit much sometimes. I'm not saying this is what you've been doing but um, I think even seeing all of this going on around you might have made you think about living a bit of a simpler life with less clutter and less stuff and less stress and all of that. I'm not saying this time of year or that time of year is all negative. Um, it can be a beautiful time, it can be a time of people getting together, it can be a really lovely uh, time of kind of eating together, sharing things, um, it can be fantastic for children as well, but I'm seeing you maybe thinking about the year ahead, looking forward to the year ahead, and thinking about maybe clearing out unnecessary things, and maybe just doing things in a more pure, natural way, if that makes sense. And this is all part of your spiritual journey, if this is what you're doing. Um, like, you know, if you look at this beautiful woman, she's totally naked. She's watch washing in this pure water. It's very pure, very natural, this card. And I think 2019 is going to be a lot simpler for you and a lot clearer for you. I'm seeing you planning to clear out a lot of unnecessary things to make way for things that are either uh, special to you on a spiritual level or uh, just special to you or necessary for you. And I think your mind is going to be very clear as well, a lot clearer. And you know, I think you've already moved on from one an unnecessary person that I see in the uh, Six of Pentacles. But yes, this is a really, really good start to the new year for you. And you know, you're going to be feeling a lot more confident as well generally. Um, I'm really seeing your confidence growing throughout the year, which is really, really good. Um, I'm also seeing that you're going to get some kind of recognition for something uh, that you'll be achieving as well. I think you might end up doing some kind of uh, teaching or something like that. It might not be traditional teaching. It might just be telling someone something or helping someone with something. This is going to be quite low key. The teaching is going to be low key and the recognition is going to be low key as well. I mean, this is the star card. This is starlight, it's not sunlight. It's not bright and you're not going to have a spotlight on you. It's going to be soft light, starlight. Um, I'm getting this feeling that, yeah, you probably don't uh, 
like being in the spotlight anyway so this is going to be perfect for you it's going to be kind of a low-key really nice recognition that you're going to get for something for showing something to someone or teaching someone or doing a good deed something really good to help someone that's what I'm seeing the last card you have your present is the hermit so again you're on a spiritual path like this hermit a spiritual journey um, this hermit is following a star um, in his lantern and that's what I was seeing the star card so you're following your star uh, and this hermit is following his star um, I'm seeing something that I've seen for a while in your readings actually um, so this is a kind of an extension from what I've already been seeing I think in the last two or three readings I've been seeing people trying to get you to go out to different things come out here come out there do this do that and you just don't feel like going so you might even be thinking that something might be wrong with you there might be people saying to you what's wrong with you what's wrong with you come out and do this and that there's nothing wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with wanting some time alone there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting time alone sometimes we need that time I need it sometimes sometimes I say yes to things sometimes I say no to things because I know what I need now um, there are no big problems you're not you don't have depression there's nothing like that um, I'm not seeing anything like that I'm just seeing you needing this time um, to be by yourself and this is a part of this spiritual process and this kind of cleansing clearing process you're clearing your head you're clearing the atmosphere to make way for um, room for yourself and your own path path now that sounds a bit selfish um, it's not selfish at all there's no way you can help other people unless you help yourself first and give yourself that space so um, and you won't be like this forever either you're going to go out you're going to do things you're going to be busy later on but at this time this is what you need and you know that you know that and your instincts will tell you when it's time to leave this uh, hermit mode the first card you have for your future is the three of wands so yes this is what I'm seeing here I'm seeing you in some kind of um, some kind of leadership position I'm seeing you teaching people again that's what I'm seeing again or um, telling people things I'm seeing someone uh, maybe even more than one person listening to you listening to what you have to say asking you questions you might be doing this electronically you might have a YouTube channel or a blog or something like that or you could be talking to someone in person or they could be asking you these things um, in person but people are going to be looking up to you they're going to be really listening to you that's what I'm seeing that's this low-key thing you're doing and this low-key recognition that you're going to be getting because you know the man on this card he's standing on top of a mountain and he's looking over the water and how did he get there it probably took him a long time a lot of effort to get up to where he is so um, it's taken you a long time or it will have taken you a long time to get up to the top of that mountain and you had to go on this spiritual path to get to the top of this mountain so you've been through this process or you're going through this process now and when you've come to the end of this or when you're kind of toward the end of this because you never stop learning spiritually that's when you're going to find yourself in this position with this opportunity coming to you to teach people things and you're going to be up on top of this hill because you've found your way there you've climbed up there you've gone there spiritually you've taken the time out to yourself to actually um, cleanse yourself and get yourself ready for this now um, yeah I'm seeing this because you know this man's on top of this hill and he's looking out and there are three ships coming in um, they're coming in for this man he can see them in a distance they're coming into him so to me these three ships can represent sometimes they can represent a trinity um, which is kind of a mind body and spirit and when these all line up when these all come together that's when you'll be ready that's when you'll be ready to teach or do this thing and you'll know exactly when you're ready you'll feel this your instincts will tell you this the next card you have for your future is the ace of swords so yes um, you're going to be really sharp mentally and that's what's going to help you to do this teaching or whatever this is in the three of wands uh, yeah and you're really eloquent 
you are going to be very, very powerful as well in the way that you uh, use your words and get your point across. Uh, this is all over your future. And I think there might even be more opportunities coming from this opportunity in the Three of Wands. I think people are going to listen to you. They're going to listen to what you have to say and say, wow, this is amazing. Maybe you can do this for me. Maybe you can lecture over here at this place. Maybe you could talk to a school. Maybe you could do this. I am seeing some specific things around writing. You might have someone ask you to write an article or uh, contribute to a book or something like that. Um, this Ace of Swords is also about discernment, thinking very clearly, thinking very carefully about what you're going to do. So you're going to have some good offers uh, and you're probably going to have some that aren't so good, but you'll have this clarity of mind and you'll be able to cut through uh, the things that aren't good and you'll be able to hold on to the things that are useful to you. So this is going to be, you're going to have this clarity of mind at exactly the right time as well because um, that's when all these things are going to come into you and you're going to be able to say I want that, I don't want this and all of that kind of thing. So the last card you have for your future is the page of pentacles. So yeah look at this page, he's holding up this coin, he's looking at it and he looks like he's in love with it, he's saying I love this beautiful coin, look at how he's gazing at it. Um, and so I think this is going to be a kind of a message to you. I think this is going to be coming to you at this time and I'm actually seeing this is going to come from someone who's going to really uh, slowly and carefully think about how they're going to give you this message, what they're going to say to you. I think this is going to be a love message coming to you and I think this might be from someone who you're teaching uh, or you're training or you're talking to, a client or someone like that in the Three of Wands. This is going to be someone who really looks up to you. This is going to be someone who's learning from you. The pages are kind of, sometimes they're teenagers, sometimes they're immature, sometimes they're just learning. So this is someone who's learning from you, looking up to you, and they're definitely going to let you know that they're interested in you. Um, I don't know if you're going to be interested in them, but I think you might be because I'm getting a really nice warm golden feeling of this because look at this beautiful golden coin and it's lighting up the whole sky. It's making it all golden. So I've got a beautiful warm feeling around this. So you might actually be interested in them or you might just be interested as a friend. But this is definitely someone who you're going to want to have around you. They actually bring you a lot of positivity. So um, you're either going to enter into a new relationship with this person or this is going to be um, a friend of yours and probably even a lifelong friend. This is a very special person. So yeah, Virgo, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you liked this reading, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.